Hey everyone, welcome back to New Woods here in episode 10 of our Let's Play series. So, in the last episode, we harvested our sunflowers in fields 1 and 5. Uh, today, we're going to start off with just getting these so soybeans done in field 24, get those sold, then we're going to go and buy some cows to increase how many we've got. Uh, I did mention in the the last episode we probably take our cows up to about 50 and um, I'm thinking we'll go more than that because we've got a lot more money than I uh, than I thought we would so we'll probably well we'll see how many we can actually get uh, once we've sold all the soybeans off and um, how much money we've actually got so first we need to get the header out and get this hooked up to do is just get rid of the GPS lines and we'll get the combine unfolded as well while we just get the header off I say it has been quite a while since I've uh, used this combine I've just realized you know, this header is actually quite small <laughs> compared to what I'm used to using on uh, the other maps I think on Felsburn a Midwest Horizon and on even Grizzly Mountain with the old combine had a bigger header than this so yeah, it's quite a small header to what I'm used to recently uh, hopefully it doesn't need repairing because I should have checked before we, uh, we started So what I was thinking about the cows, I did have a quick look um, about buying them because we're going to be buying so many. Oh yeah. For some reason comes to a bit where it doesn't want to harvest for some reason. Okay. Is that just because the angle of the field? I can't tell. Let's try and go across. Oh. For some reason, it uh, doesn't want to harvest that little bit. I'm not sure why. Uh, a little bit strange. No, for some reason, it doesn't seem to want to harvest anything here. Okay, so for some reason our combine has decided it's not going to harvest at all now. I should try again from the end of the field and uh, see if it'll work from down here. And that's a bit strange why it's uh, not working there. Okay, so it's working again now. A little, a little bit odd, not sure what's going on there. Um, what I was saying is, I was having a look at the cows, and because we're going to be buying so many, I don't have to make like six or seven trips using our truck and trailer because uh, I feel that'll probably take it quite a while. Um, yeah, not sure what's going on with that little patch, uh, why it won't harvest. Uh, we'll come back to that one after as long as the rest harvest will be fine um, so thinking about leasing the the large Wilson uh, animal trailer which I think has got a capacity of um, 12 cows oh, it's not as much as I thought but it's uh, twice as many as what we can get in ours um, I should just double check yeah, so we can get six in ours, twelve in that one. Oh, we could lease that one actually because you get fourteen, and that is a bit cheaper as well. Uh, probably doesn't fit in with the American map. What uh, two extra cows for a cheaper leasing price? 
So we'd have to do at least two trips using that if we got the Wilson, uh, but then we would also need to get a truck as well or use a tractor and the dolly, which uh, I'm not particularly keen on using the uh, the large articulated or trailers with the uh, dollies. Well, I think that would be, it's going to help reduce the amount of time. The other option was to buy the cows direct, which even if we only buy the 26 cows, I think that worked out around about 5,000 for the transport fee, which is more than what it would cost to lease the trailer for an hour. And it's not going to take more than an hour to do three or four trips. So I think that might be the, the the more economical option to get in the cows is to lease a truck and the trailer and then do four or five trips with that, keep it within the like that area so we don't get the extra cost and get as many cows as we can. So I think that's what we will do once we've got this one harvested. Okay, so we're up 77% full on the gravity wagon. I'm going to leave the workers carry on because we're not going to fit the rest of the field in this. So we'll go and sell what we've got in here and then come back for the last bit. So current breast price is the pork grain elevator, which, yeah, that's the one where you need to unload uh, at the train. <laughs> this gravity wagon just will not unload quick enough for us to um, do that. So. We'll take this down to the railroad silo, uh, which is just down here, and we'll get this unloaded, and then we'll come back for the rest. And then I'll get that loaded up on the train, and we'll take it over to the cell point. Let's go down this rather bumpy track. Um, which way? This way. Make sure there's no cars. I'm not sure if cars come down this uh, section of road. I don't even know where that actually road goes to. I don't think it actually goes anywhere other than off the edge of the map. So we'll get this unloaded, then we'll head back up, uh, finish off that field. And then we'll look at getting the leasing the truck and trailer. Well, I might actually buy the truck because um, I want to get the for the milk. I don't want to be selling just eight thousand liters of milk at a time. Um, so I'm going to get the the larger milk tanker, which is the thirty-two thousand liters. So we're going to probably need a truck anyway for that. And I do have the. The Kenworth that I used on Ravenport, which is only 24,500. Um, so, might possibly buy that and then just lease the animal trailer. At least then we've got a truck, and then we can also look again at a grain wagon. So, when we're doing stuff like this, we can 
probably get a chaser bin then rather than this gravity wagon and then we could just use the chaser bin to load up the the grain wagon for the uh, the truck because uh, we don't have a silos yet and not sure if we can actually afford a silo as they are quite expensive I think I have got one with a building pack which is a little bit cheaper it's absolutely huge and it's a little bit too big for what we need uh, but I think for now we're getting probably a small chaser bin more uh, do with a grain wagon for the truck then to deliver the, at least then we can take more in one go I think that'll work quite well so is any 32% full let's turn that off so we'll continue with this and get this last little bit finished and then get this down to the re railroad silo and then onto the train and that's all the soybeans done let's get this unloaded and we'll get this then onto the train and over to the cell point I'll turn that off. Uh, for some reason, that doesn't seem so bad now, but uh, when I was combining, looking in this direction, yeah, it's dropping a little bit, getting some really bad frame rate spikes, um, like in drops, which I don't remember getting before on this map. So not quite sure why all of a sudden I'm starting to get problems uh, with the frame rate. You know, it's not just on this map, it's on a few maps as well. That I know on some maps, um, some areas, um, I do get them, but I don't remember getting them quite as bad as I am on this one before. So, I'm yeah, not quite sure what that is. <laughs> Hopefully it's not a uh, developing problem in my computer somewhere that's uh, going to cause issues. I'm going to have to have a look into that. See if we can figure out what the uh, the problem is with that. So I'll do. I'll get this unloaded. I'll get it onto the train. Then I'll meet you over at the sell point with the train to sell this, as it's going to probably take a while to chase the train down and get this loaded up and get the train over there. And all that fun stuff. Okay, so just coming up to the sell point, we've got a 28,754 litres in total. So, not a huge amount to make it worth messing with the train, but as this has got the best price, uh, yes, I managed to overshoot the uh, sell point again. Never ever stopped these trains in the right spot first time. Let's get that overloaded. Uh, Okay, so that's $73,939, which is quite a bit more than I was anticipating, which is not always a bad thing. So what we'll do, we'll head over to Carlos and get the truck and lease the trailer. Okay, so we're down at Carlos and we're going to get our truck. So we'll buy the Kenworth, $24,500, or a little bit more if we change the colour. Go for black, uh, it looks a bit too too dull. Fent red looks quite nice rather than the the red the hardy red. Do like that one, that does look quite nice. Um we'll leave the rest as it is. So it's gonna be uh yeah, well, I think we'll leave it as <laughs> might leave it as standard. <laughs> I realize I've got four thousand for a paint job. Are they all that much? Pretty much. Uh, 
we'll, we'll, we'll be the, uh, the cheapskates and leave it as standard. So we'll buy that one. And then we'll also lease the animal trailer. So that's $4,080. So we'll use that for up to an hour. Um, so I couldn't see the truck then, it's behind the, the trailer. Uh, this isn't a bad mod actually. It looks fairly decent. You know, part of the mirrors don't work, everything else uh, works fine on it. Uh, so from when I've used it on Ravenport, I had two of these on the time lapse series. So let's see if we can actually get this thing out of here. Without damaging the trailer or our new truck. I'm definitely not going to get out. <laughs> that looks uh, far too tight to get around there, so we'll... I'm presuming that's why the modder put this uh, little dirt track down here is to get the bigger equipment out because trying to get it down that ramp is probably impossible. So let's just let this car pass and this one as well. And we can head off up to the animal dealer. I say we'll buy... I'm thinking now we have got quite a bit of money. Uh, he's going a bit too slow. Um, We'll probably look at getting the mixer wagon, or the feed mixer wagon, uh, just the the standard uh, silo king from the base game, which is only 16,000 litre capacity, but it's only $50,000 to buy. Okay, so just come up to the animal dealer, we'll get our first load. We'll fit 12 cows on this one, um, so we need two loads to take us up close to 50. Uh, we'll keep with um, our black cows, so we're not mixing up. So that's $30,000 for 12. So another 12, that'll be 60. I'll take us down to about 113,000. So I'm thinking we're probably looking at getting uh, 48. That'll be 120. I'm not sure if that'll leave us enough to get the feed mixer wagon. Let's just have a quick look at the. That's 53,000. That one's too small for the bale sizes we've got, so there's no point in getting that one. Uh, and if someone's bigger, obviously they're more expensive. Um, could. Could look at just leasing one for how often we're going to actually use it. Now the initial lease costs five thousand, but it's one thousand one hundred and fifty a day. That's quite a bit. That one's five hundred and thirty, which we'd have to have it for what about a hundred game days. Um, sitting there doing nothing to get enough to the way we could buy one but then the operating hour is one phase one so uh, we'll have a we'll have a look at that we'll so I'll come I'll come back and I'll get at least two more loads which will be thirty six and then we'll see how much money we've got left and then kind of make a decision on whether we're gonna get a final fourth load or leave it as it is for now. Um, now we've got the truck anyway, we can always release this uh, animal trailer at another point and get another few loads at some point in the future. So I'll, I'll get these ones back, get them in, then I'll I'll meet you back at the farm when we've got the third load to put into the actual cow shed. Okay, so we're just coming back up to the farm with our third load of cows uh, this will take us up to 60 in total which I think is where we're going to leave it for now uh, that's left us with $83,306 
is what I want to do is I'm not going to buy the feed mix wagon yet because we don't have any silage bales or silage to use to mix anything up so we'll just feed in some of the hay and we're going to I'm not going to give them a huge amount of the hay because I don't want to give them too much because it when we do come to feed them with a total mix ration and whatever hay's in there won't get used until that's run out and if we keep on top of the TMR then the hay will never get used and it'll be a bit of a waste having it in there so we'll give them a little bit and what I'll do I'll just keep topping it up um, as and when just like a few bales at a time to keep them going until we can get some silage sorted so what I thought we'd do is uh, we'll get we've got field 8 next to us here we've our corn planted in that one that we did in the last episode so I'll just confirm that so that's 60 cows in there now I'll just pull this up out of the way yeah, so we're up to 60 cows now and the food's quite low but um, it'll do for now so it's just the straw and water will top up and I'll probably give them one more bale of hay to keep them going so I don't want to fill that up too much and then it just sits there not being used um, as I said we've got corn grown in this one so what I'm going to do is I'll get the straw and the water we'll top that up now and then we'll get field 24 we'll get that one where are we completely lost the field here <laughs> uh, field 24 we'll get that one cultivated and then we'll get some corn planted in that so we'll have those two fields and what we'll do we'll get the bunker silo built um, just down here like we said and then we'll when the corn's ready we'll get the lease the forage harvester and we'll do that for chaff and then we'll fill that up so we'll do loose silage and then hay bales and then we'll look at getting a feed mixer wagon once we've sorted that out um, so what we'll do first is we'll do the water uh, we need a tractor either way I have got the magnum over on field one you can probably just about see over there it's not actually far off being finished um, he's just going over that field with the subsoiler because that one did require plowing uh, so what we'll do is we'll get a worker set off on this with the cultivator on 24 so if we So if we get the work set off on this, so we can be doing this while we top up the straw on the water. And then we can look again the corn planted in this one. And then we'll do both of those seat fields for silage. I think that should be more than enough. I don't really want to go much more than that. Because uh, you do get quite a bit of chaff off the uh, the corn so oh well this is that problem I had last time with the not being able to hire a worker using this and I think it was the AI vehicle extension mod which is now not letting me bring up the other menu Let's just try it with it on. I think it worked last time with it. Let's just check that. Right. So we want that side. And well, that seems to be uh, working. So we'll leave the worker doing that. And we'll use the the maximum which has still got the planter on from the last episode which just drop off here what I'll do I'll just check that over see if it needs repairing before we start planting the corn I'll leave the dual wheels on so we'll probably just use this tractor for 
doing the planting. So we'll just top up the water and the straw and so I'll also give him a couple of hay bales to keep him going for a couple of days because it's going to probably be a while before we get the corn ready to harvest. Now we also need to return the the wagon and I should probably do the water first because the, the water tank is in the way. So now we've got, well, so we've more than doubled our cows. We're actually going to fit in here with these wheels, aren't you? Just about. More than double our cows, so we are going to start getting a decent amount of slurry. I should have used up what was in there first. Slurry and manure now, so we will look again at manure spreader, a slurry spreader, so we can start utilising that on our fields. Um, I did get a question or comment on one of the uh, the videos. Uh, but the using manure and that whether it actually gave any more yield than regular fertilizer and the answer to that is no it does exactly the same as liquid fertilizer or solid fertilizer it just obviously different prices uh, manure obviously unless you've got the manure pack or slurry pack where you can buy manure and slurry like the buy points um, it's only a, a buy product from the cows or the pigs um, so you're not paying for it technically but obviously it is in a way costing money because you're putting feed into the pigs or cows to actually get them to produce it um, so in terms of value of that uh, how much it goes compared to regular fertilizers I'm not sure what is the uh, the better value fertilizer so although the other fertilizers are more expensive to buy they don't go as far um, I'll say they should say they go a lot further for less volume than what manure and slurry does anyway. I think they did adjust the usage of slightly in one of the updates because they I think the first time I used slurry it emptied so fast it <laughs> you barely even like a hundred thousand litres would do a medium sized field which seems a little bit excessive. So what's that up to let's just check now we're going to need quite a few few loads of these. Right, so this should be the last load of water. Uh, this hopefully should fill them up. So we're probably looking around 40,000 litres, I think. And then we'll just... Give them a little bit more straw and they'll say those two hay bales and that should be the cows all sorted. I think our worker has finished on field one. Let's just check yet. Yeah, so it looks like that's all been uh gone over so it's in the cultivated state but it's now removed the needs plowing. So that one's all ready to plant but before we do that one I do want to get rid of those trees at the top of the field which I will do in the next episode. It's probably going to take me a bit of work off camera to get all those cut up. It's going to take a while. So let's just check, did we fill up the water completely? Uh, so just under, but that'll do for now. So we'll get this parked back up. I can't remember if I mentioned putting this little bit of dirt tracking next to the shed in the last episode may have did uh, just so we can access the water down that side a little bit and so we want the straw blower I think there's bales in here yep so two bales 
one, one partial bell 3,400 and the other one should be a full 8,000 these so we'll give them both of these and then that should be enough straw for now and then we just need to do the hay bales Start off there. Let's spray that cow with some uh, straw. So the horses are fine. Their straw will need topping up soon, but they're okay for now. As I say the chickens we only cleaned out earlier, or last episode. So that's the first bale. Uh, so this will take us about twenty-eight thousand. So. That will uh, be more than enough for now. I'll probably top it up again. Tomorrow. Or I'll say tomorrow in game. Uh, so I'll be skipping the night after this episode. So now we've got 60 cows, is that? Now that's updated. So we're down to a reproduction rate of 25 hours 45. So the next one in 45 minutes. So we'll be up to 61 cows. Um, that'll be one new cow every day. Which I still think we we'll want to try and get quite a few more. So I do want to try and get up to 200. Well, once we get to 200, we'll then sell a load off. And then then reproduce and every time it gets back up to 200 we'll just keep selling about 20 cows off or so. So that's an extra, I think cows sell for 2,000. So that would be like 40,000 every time we reach 200. Or even just take it down to 190. And then every time it gets back to 200 sell 10 off for an extra 20,000. So we'll just give them two bales for now. So next time we do the grass, because we'll be doing um, corn silage, uh, we don't need any like silage bales. So we'll do the next cut on the grass for hay as well. Uh, how do people see when they've got things like this on? Like completely blind. Uh, we will do some more silage bales in the future, but we'll do them to sell rather than for feeding the cows. Alright, so that's two hay bales in. That's 34,000 litres, so possibly give them another two tomorrow. I say I don't want to fill the hay up too much because they won't use it once we get the TMR in. Uh, which will hopefully be in a few episodes time we can uh, look at getting that sorted so we'll just drop that back down there switch that off and I say the work has finished over there I am getting a few frame rate drops and I know that's because of the AOV vehicle extension which so if we Uh, for some reason, I don't know if it's because the menu is left open. Uh, I'm not quite sure what uh, why he's doing it completely different to last time. So what I'll do is I'll get this field finished off with the cultivating, and then we'll get a worker off um, getting the corn planted out, and I'll probably then leave it um, so that'll be finished off. For the next episode so then we've got both fields with corn growing and they should both be ready at the same time then because they'll have both been planted in the same game day i'll just tidy this a little bit up here so last time i used this with the io vehicle extension he pretty much did a perfect job 
Not sure why he cut that corner this time. Okay, so that's field 24 all cultivated. So what I'll do is, so I'll get a worker set up on planting the corn and then we'll leave it there for this episode. I'll get all this tidied away after, so we just need to quickly run back down and get the maxim which I should have just probably drove up here anyway and um, I've did get a layer of fertilizer on this one I just went over it with the fertilizer spreader and um, I'll do the same on 24 as well and then we'll just need to go over it with a sprayer uh, possibly in the next episode because I will say I will skip to the next game day just to keep things moving along And then what we'll do in the next episode, we'll be looking at field one, try and get those trees cleared at the top of that field and get um, that field planted. And also field five as well. And we'll get a new crop in there. Would help if I actually uh, went and put the, uh, the actual planter on. Picked up the seed hopper rather than Drive straight past the entrance. So let's just check, see if that needs repairing. Well, the tractor does, which we'll do as well. That's not too bad, but we'll. Uh, Just top it up and if I don't keep crashing into things, we'll uh, just check the seed. Can't remember if we can actually fill this up. No, we can. Then that was, um, yeah, the back section. There's a problem where you can't fill it up with the. You can fill it up from the like the pallets um, off the ground and that, but you don't seem to be able to fill it up from the automatic refill points uh, for some strange reason. But there should be more than enough in there to get this field done. So I'll say I'll get the worker to do this, and we'll leave this episode here. So hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, then please do consider subscribing. We've got new Farm Simulator 19 videos coming every day. And also, if you do have any questions, comments, suggestions, then please do leave it in the comment section. I'll say any questions I will try and answer as soon as I possibly can, um, if I can find the time to do it. So, yeah, again, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you again. Goodbye.